Today we've got a great show. We've got Clifton Stone with us. He's been with us before from Memphis Cash Flow, and they've got properties in Memphis that uh, you're going to be excited to hear about. It's really amazing. If you can't afford the market in Seattle, there might be some stuff going on in Memphis that you can uh, get involved with, with Clifton and with Steve Big House. We've got Steve with us, too, from Team Big House at, at uh, Security National Mortgage. And let's make sure that we've got Clifton on from Memphis. Are you there, Clifton? I'm here. I'm here. Thanks for having Perfect. me Perfect. That's I was a little nervous when we bring in a guest over the line like that, that they're going to be there when we start talking to them. So it's good to have you, man. Good. Great to be here. Great to be here. Yeah, and we've got Steve here, too. How are you doing today, Steve? Good. Doing real good today. Nice. Well, yeah, we want to talk more with you because we had you on before, Clifton, and we didn't feel like we really covered your company and what you guys are doing in Memphis and, and really didn't give enough as far as examples and um, what you guys are able to share down there as far as investment opportunities. So we want to do that more today. But before we get into details again, tell us a little bit about yourself and your, your company so people that are listening for the first time will know who you are and what you guys are doing down there. Okay, sure, sure. Um, I went into real estate full-time in 2007, um, focusing on, on working with banks here in the Memphis market, listing and selling bank-owned foreclosures. Um, I worked with a lot of investors during that time and um, watched what they did and uh, wanted to build a portfolio myself. So. Um, I purchased my first investment property in 2009, and uh, since then, uh, in short, my wife and I have founded uh, Riverstone Properties, whose primary focus is to buy and hold um, single and multifamily properties in Memphis. Um, and I began working uh, with Hewlett Gregory and Memphis Cash Flow in 2012. Um, Hewlett brought me on board as operations director and investment advisor. Um, in the past two and a half years uh, at Memphis Cash Flow, I've worked with just over 90 investors, both domestic and internationally, and I've helped them to purchase a little over 350 properties here in Memphis. Wow, that's cool. So the numbers, I was getting 90 investors, but then if you got 300 properties, so people are buying multiple properties. Yes, yes, that's our, our goal. Uh, if, you, if you buy one property, um, we, we look at that as a failure. <laughs> Oh, I can see that. And can you tell us a little bit how the company works, how, how the process works? Sure. Um, we're what's called a full-service turnkey provider. So um, we, we are sourcing single-family houses well below market value, uh, performing a full turnkey rehab on the property. We have uh, very experienced and, and qualified contractors that we've worked with for a long time. The rehab is one of the um, most important key components to the to the whole process Um, and our sister company marathon management can handle all aspects of the property management Uh, marathon's been in business for about eight years manages just over 1200 properties in the memphis market Uh, memphis cash flow has uh, is one of the largest home sellers in the memphis market Uh, we've purchased rehabbed and sold just over 1800 investment properties uh, over the past nine years and during that time, Memphis Cash Flow has worked with over 380 investors from around the world. Wow. And, and so you talk about investors. Tell us a little bit. What, what's the typical person like? What type of people are you working with? Are they um, rich people or average people, or do you kind of have a mix? Well, uh, our, our most common investor is um, uh, going to be a young person who uh, has a great job making a little over six figures a year, uh, unsure about the stock market, not sure where where to invest, wanting to diversify. Um, so they're uh, taking advantage of, um, of of their first ten Fannie Mae loans that the uh, that the government will allow them to have, and that's where um, someone like Steve Big House can really come in and help them um, choose the best direction to take. Uh, we also work with uh, a lot of self-directed IRA investors. Um, that's becoming a huge movement. People are, are taking control of their IRAs and um, are finding a lot of stability in, in uh, putting real estate in their IRAs. Um, the third investor we work with would be the uh, uh, international investor, and they're very well versed uh, investing in many markets around the world, and uh, they 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 really see um, uh, the value in in owning property in the U.S. and and how unique the the Memphis market is, um, we have one of the uh, we have some of the lowest purchase prices and highest rents in comparison to um, uh, 
virtually anywhere in the U.S. and a lot of places around the world. Well, that's neat. And that's, that's the real critical point when you guys talk about cash flow, because that seems to be um, the big thing today when people get into a property. You know, it used to be if they could get invested and come close to covering half or three quarters of their mortgage, they were excited. But now everybody wants to have a cash flow property out of the gate. And Memphis is able to do that. Is that when you talk about rent to the cost of properties, it sounds like that's kind of one of your secrets. Right. Memphis is a cash flow market. That's that's what we focus on. Um, we don't have huge swings like you'll see in Phoenix, Southern California, Las Vegas. Uh, you're not going to buy a property here and have some unbelievable appreciation and, and make some huge return on a gain when you come out and sell it. Um, we have small fluctuations in price. Um, we go up a little bit, go down a little bit. Same thing with rent. It's uh, been generally stable over the past uh, couple of decades. Um, so, you know, I think investors find a lot of stability in that. Um, we're a great long-term buy-and-hold market um, and a great market for positive cash flow. Boy, that's exciting. Yeah, it just is neat. And the opportunity that I'm excited to share is one, you know, you talked about people in the six-figure range. And, you know, that used to be a lot of money. But today, you know, most people that are raising a family, especially if they have dual incomes, they're in that range. And, you know, when you can bring in retirement accounts, we know what the stock market's been doing up and down over the last few years. And other, you know, annuities, people are even in strong cash positions, and they're just not getting a big return on their money. That this really is a neat opportunity for every every person in America. I mean, anybody that's got a, a reasonably good job can cash flows these things. And Steve, can you talk a little about financing? Because you're, you're a big part of this. And that made me think about how, um, you know, even with your job, if you don't think you can afford a rental property payment, you don't really need to. Tell us how you guys work together with financing. Well, basically, Annette, with, uh, with our financing through Fannie Mae, they allow us to utilize the uh, rental income, Annette, from day one on the property. And that really doesn't make any difference where it's vacant or even rented at that point in time. So if the property is vacant, the appraiser, when we have the appraiser uh, complete the appraisal, he'll put in an operating income statement and rent schedule. And we're allowed to utilize the uh, uh, market figure that he puts in there as far as rent. And then we can take 75% of that. So you really don't see any um, the borrower taking on any debt uh, when they're purchasing those investment properties. That's cool. So as long as their income is able to support their, their current bills, because we work on ratios. Right, yeah. All they do is yeah. after, they, they have to qualify with their existing housing payment, which is you know, first mortgage payment or rent and then any installment or revolving debt that they have. Um, the only thing that would factor into that, if they had some other rental properties that were showing negative figures, we'd count that in their debt-to-income ratio. Yeah, we run into that once in a while when we get all the tax returns, yeah, right? That you've got to look do. at the, the rent do. schedules and Double find out. Double-edged sword. Yeah, they're like, oh, I'm doing great. I've got all these rental properties, and I'm making all this money. But then you look at the tax returns, and their accountant's gotten a hold of all their expenses, and there's nothing left at the bottom. And sometimes we've actually got negative numbers that we have right. to back out of their income. Yeah. So you have to watch for that. So. Yeah, well, that's – so you, literally, if you can afford your bills now and you were able to, say, purchase a primary residence, buying a rental property in Memphis would be an option for you. Well, you would. I mean, you still have to have money. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. Mean, there, there what about no, down payments? Um, you can figure single family, 20 percent. Um, it goes in uh, – um, breaks it up in a couple of different factors. If you have uh, one to four finance properties, the down payment requirement for the single family is 20. Uh, two to four unit would be 25. And then you increase that by 5% once you move 5 to 10. Yeah, once you go over four properties. Yeah, correct. And then how many properties could somebody buy with conventional financing? Well, you can have up to 10 finance properties. Okay. So if you have more than 10, as long as you don't have more than 10 loans, you're still okay. So you correct. can literally buy. Hey, Clifton, so do you see people with more than 10 properties? Yeah, absolutely. It gets a little harder after 10. Um, you start working with. Um, commercial lenders, it changes a little bit, but um, yeah. And LLCs and all the other. Yeah, well past 10. Yeah, ways of holding your, your properties once you get up over, you literally become a business, it sounds like. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, just, we're about to head into a break here. We've got a, another few minute or minute or so here, but what type of properties are we looking at price-wise? Give us a, a bit, bit of a teaser. Well, and that's one, one point I wanted to make. Um, you know, Memphis has some of the lowest barriers to entry in um, uh, many markets around the U.S., so our price points are 50 to 1. Wow, crazy. Well, we're heading into a break. We'll be right back. Real Estate Radio Northwest, Freedom 1590, and Business Radio KKL AM 1300. Stay with us to find out more from Memphis and what you can find investment opportunities down there. 
Security National Mortgage Company is licensed in Washington State and is an equal housing lender. Opinions discussed on this program should not be deemed the opinion of Security National Mortgage, its parent company, or affiliates. Content is based upon information considered reliable, but neither Security National Mortgage or its affiliates warrants its completeness, accuracy, or is it a commitment of any kind. Terms and conditions apply. All loans are subject to underwriter approval company NMLS ID number 3116. Real Estate Radio Northwest is hosted by local real estate and finance expert Nick Neal. The purpose of the show is to help customers understand what's really going on in our local real estate market. We're teaching you the why and the how-to so you'll always be one step ahead of everyone else. Whether you need to sell your home for top dollar, refinance and save money, or even buy a bargain in the Puget Sound, Nick Neal can help. Call Nick directly at 888-638-1117. That's 888-638-1117. Take advantage of speaking with Nick Neal anytime you're entering a real estate transaction. Having someone who can answer all your questions that truly cares about you and your family's best interest is priceless. Call Nick Neal today and you'll be glad you did. 888-638-1117. That's 888-638-1117. Or you can visit realestateradionorthwest.com for more info. You're listening to Real Estate Radio Northwest with local expert Nick Neal. Now, here's Nick. Hi, this is Nick Neal with Real Estate Radio Northwest. We're on Freedom 1590 and Business Radio KKOL AM 1300. We're a mortgage bank company. That's really what we do outside of the radio station here. Security National Mortgage is our parent company, and we are able to help you with financing on home loans. So if you're in the market to purchase, we're talking about investment properties today, and we've got some really cool information for you on that. But if you're in the proper, in the market to purchase your primary residence as well, we can help you with pre-approvals and making sure that we've got you set up before you start looking for a home with a loan that's going to be a really good interest rate. And, and the big part that we can handle for you is, is taking the stress out of the transaction so that when you start looking for a house, you know your financing is in place and you're not going to be having any questions or problems or issues that uh, drive you crazy along the line while you're out looking for a home. So be sure and give us a call, 888-638-1117. We can set you up with pre-approvals. Or find us online at realestateradionorthwest.com and Real Estate Radio Northwest on Facebook, too. Check us out and uh, like us on Facebook. We've got Clifton Stone from Memphis Cashflow with us today and Steve Bighouse, his partner with the financing side, Security National Mortgage. I work with Steve there, and he's an amazing guy. I've known him for about seven years and just watched his business and been amazed by the number of properties that he's helping people finance. Um, Steve can be reached at 425-903-5647. So if you're interested in uh, finding out from the finance side, and that's really the best way to get started with these guys, um, if you're interested in looking at properties in Memphis with Clifton, is to talk to Steve first and get your financing set up. Clifton, I know as we were going out, you talked about the music was there, but we were hearing fifty to $150,000. Yep, that's right. That's our, our uh, most common uh, price range. Wow, and and so that's not a fixer up to, up or two because we you know a lot of people talk about buying rental properties up here. They're looking at auctions. They're trying to find REOs, um, properties in distress to get a good deal, and a lot of those are, are in really bad shape. So not only do you have to be um, able to find and dig out a good deal on a property, but then you have to be able to have somebody to rehab it for you if you can't do it yourself. Um, find somebody that can do that. And a lot of times that leads to expenses that you didn't expect. So right. it's, it's amazing. Tell us what you go through with that process um, before you even sell properties to people. Well, um, you know, the, 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 first, the, the first step is, is finding the property. And that, that's one of the most important, um, w- one of the most important parts. It's, it's, you have to buy the house right to where after rehab your returns make great sense. Um, and we have a full-time uh, director of acquisitions, Tom Christensen, who's been doing it for about seven years now, and he is constantly um, shaking the bushes. He's he's working relationships with agents, going after bank foreclosures, negotiating short sales, estate sales, um, working with distressed homeowners, any and every avenue possible where we can buy that property well below market value uh, and bring it bring it to the table with with good numbers. Um, as you mentioned, the rehab is, is the second most important part. That's where a lot of surprises can pop up, and that's one area where, where we're able to eliminate a lot of risk for our end investor. Um, we have a full-time project coordinator, Tosh Sherman. Um, he's, he owns 23 rentals himself, he's, and he's been doing it for years. He's, he's great and very familiar with the rehab to rent process and oversees three general contractors. 
two of which who have been with us for about seven years now, and uh, they're very thorough. Um, uh, in short, we're, we're getting that rehab done for about half of what someone could get, it, could get it done for if they were to come here and hire a general contractor. Wow. Boy, that's awesome. And so when somebody buys a house from you, then they're pretty much ready to rent. That's right. We, and and we've, we've worked hard to position ourselves as a, as a one-stop shop for real estate investors in Memphis. Um, mm-hmm. You know, our, our goal is to uh, help you build a portfolio and um, um, direct deposit a check at the end of the month. Well, wow, nice. So you even help with finding tenants and setting up the renters? Sure, sure. Mar- Marathon Management can handle all of that. Um, we have 12 uh, leasing agents who are all independent contractors, and they are very aggressive. Boy, that's amazing. Well, can you give us some examples of properties that you guys, uh, you know, like maybe some success stories and things that are available right now? What do you have in your in your books? Well, um, we'll start at the top with, with uh, what would be considered a high-end property for us, uh, or we like to grade our houses. We would call this an A house. Um, a typical A house for us is going to be a four or five bedroom, two bath house, over 2,000 square feet. Um, um, uh, this house is a 4-2, 2,063 square feet. Um, we put $26,300 into the rehab. And um, in doing that rehab, we've, we've taken into consideration long-term maintenance items for the investor, um, things that can dra- dramatically affect the bottom line uh, over time. Uh, for instance, we, we pull out all of the carpet and we'll install um, durable hardwood laminate flooring. Um, um, we pull out vinyl in the kitchen and we'll put down ceramic tile. Uh, we like to put ceramic tile in, in, in all wet areas throughout the house. Um, we put a brand new furnace, air conditioner, water heater, uh, tightened up the, the major mechanicals with, with brand new equipment. And um, rent range for a house like this is is 1295 to 1495. Um, we had a self-directed IRA investor buy this house for 110,000, and we've currently got it live at Marathon for lease at 1495. Wow, that's amazing. That yeah, that's yeah. just you know we, we don't we saw stuff like that in Seattle you know 20 years ago. I mean, you're kind of looking like what our market was you know probably 15 to 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. And it's important to note that this house is is located in a in a neighborhood that's predominantly owner occupied. So um, as a result, oh, yeah. pride of pride of ownership is excellent. Uh, and uh, in in the A house, that that's where you're going to have the most stability and and highest chance for appreciation down the road. Yeah. Hey, Steve, real quick, can you tell us what on on a hundred ten thousand dollar house, kind of not real numbers, but kind of a basic scenario, how somebody would finance that? Well, basically, in that, again, depending upon number of finance properties, is going to determine what they're going to put down. So if they're under four, twenty percent down. Yeah. And that twenty percent down plus their closing costs. Okay, and and kind of a ballpark on payment. Do you know what? In you Memphis, know, with something taxes like and that. Stuff? I mean, they're going to eighty. They're going to probably be in that that mid six range. Really? Okay. Insurance. And then you're talking about twelve to fourteen hundred in rent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, crazy, boy. So that's kind of the top then. That that's the top range because that would literally be. Um, the very bottom of our market in Seattle. I mean, if you could find that kind of a house, you'd, you'd be lucky. It'd probably be a condo. Yeah, I mean, and, you know, this is a great family house. We yeah, so from affor- affordable housing here. And from affordable, then you go to even more affordable. <laughs> so, yeah. so that's your A uh, c- category. What's, what's your B category like? Sure, a, a classic example of a B house. Um, um, uh, 2038 Lidgate is, a, is, is also a four-bedroom, two-bath. Um, just under 2,000 square feet, two-car garage. Um, we we were able to convert a half bath into a full bath at this house, which which added a great deal of value to it. Also, really increases the rentability. Um, this house leased in the first week for 1095, right at the top of the rent range, and a um, investor working with Steve purchased it for 859. Wow, boy, that's nice. And- there. And what what square footage and lot and and can you kind of describe what that house would look like if you drove up to it? Yeah, just a, a traditional uh, brick house, uh, two car garage, um, four bedroom, two bath, um, just under two thousand square feet. And and what what year construction? This one was built in nineteen sixty eight. Yeah. Uh, the previous example, the A property was built in nineteen eighty six. So you're uh, looking at um, pretty stable neighborhoods that have been around yeah, for a bit. Yeah. This neighborhood is going to be about 60% owner-occupied, 40% tenant. 
Uh, so you've still got that that um, strong element of good pride of ownership. Um, but you know, we, we have a very high demand uh, in the Memphis market for uh, for family homes in this price range. For for rentals, is that what you're correct? Yeah, yeah. And that, and we've talked a bit about that in the past. What primes the market there? But kind of tell us a little bit again about your job situation in Memphis and how that it leads to a lot of renters and and not quite so many homeowners. Well, Memphis is such a unique market because of our employment base. Uh, we're we're known as, as America's distribution center. Um, we were founded in 1819 as the main lumber and cotton market in the U.S. because we're located right on the Mississippi River and had one of the first rail lines coming through Memphis. Um, today, we're one of only three states to have five of the Class 7 railroads in the country coming right through Memphis. Um, we're one of four major cities to have the future I-69 interstate, which will pass through some major trucking routes, also Interstate 40. Um, we have um, uh, the Memphis International Airport, where our largest employer, FedEx, is located. Their headquarters are there. They employ over 31,000 people. Hmm. And um, an interesting fact is that you can you can take a package to the FedEx location closest to the airport up to 11 p.m. at night and have it arrive anywhere in the country by the next morning. Boy, that's crazy. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've seen that system. It's unbelievable how they route those planes around. And it, it, it's very valuable to... Uh, um, to businesses who who uh, who need to move things quickly, such as the biomedical industry, um, we're very proud to have St. Jude Children's Research Hospital here. Um, we're also home to Service Master AutoZone. Uh, International Paper has their global headquarters here. Um, so we we have a strong employment base that is is um, you know warehouse jobs, truck. Yeah, it sounds like like a lot of blue collar or, or kind of mid level jobs. Right. Where and, and is that what leads to people needing to be renters more than than uh, buying homes that is one element um you know also we have a lot of uh, credit challenged people um our our standard tenant is is um you know going to have a ding somewhere in the past but they've got they've got great income uh and they they can afford the house so um, um they they look to rent yeah well and that, again you guys help with the management property side and finding and maintaining tenants and what, just like an overall, what do you see as far as turnover? Is it is it? Do you get some stable renters, or what? What is are the people going to plan to kind of have somebody moving in and out every year? Well, we we have incentives in place for our leasing agents to get a two year lease. They essentially get a larger commission uh, if they bring us a two year lease. So our average lease is two years, and um, our average stay time is 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 longer than two years. So we. We, we push for the longest lease possible. Um, turnover is your biggest cost. So if we can get someone to stay for two years or longer, um, uh, our, our, our investor is making money. Boy, that's awesome. Well, this is Nick Neal with Real Estate Radio Northwest on Freedom 1590 and Business Radio KKL AM 1300. We've got Clifton Stone with us from Memphis Cash Flow. Love the name of that. That just sounds really cool. Mm-hmm. And Steve Big House from uh, Security National Mortgage, Team Big House. And they partnered up, and Steve's been doing this for a long time. He's, you know, years. It sounds like you have, too, um, Clifton. How long have you and Steve been working together? Uh, about two and a half years now since, since I've been with Memphis Cash Flow. Yeah, well, cool. So you guys got a history, too. Well, we're just running into a break again, but when we get back, can you share some more properties with us? Absolutely. You got some more numbers and, and kind of descriptions of what people can find in Memphis. Well, sounds good. Well, we'll be right back with you. Real Estate Radio Northwest, stay with us. We're talking more about Memphis properties and opportunities down there you guys can afford. We'll be right back. Heather Pickin, our very own Heather Pickin, is a mindset and business acceleration coach. And she shows professionals literally how to get out of their own way. How do you do that, Heather? Well, it's really one simple shift in your thinking that can really accelerate your income, create more opportunities, and really live your life at the highest potential. So whether it's being more confident in business, attracting more clients, or calming down your monkey mind, my system shows you how to reprogram your mind so that you're operating at the highest level to achieve what you really want. And what I say is, if you get the mind right, the money will follow. That's awesome, and it's really true. So contact Heather. Heather offers a complimentary Rewired for Success phone session, which you can sign up for by going to sessionwithheather.com. In this session, she will identify your self-sabotaging patterns, 
how to activate your true potential and get clarity on the next steps. Call 888-775-2224. That's 888-775-2224. You're listening to Real Estate Radio Northwest with local expert Nick Neal. Now, here's Nick. Thanks for staying with us on Business Radio KKOL AM 1300 and Freedom 1590. This is Real Estate Radio Northwest, and we are t- live in Seattle, but we're talking about Memphis today, and it's just it's amazing some of the opportunities that we've got down there for you. And, you know, if you've got – if you're living in, uh, let's say, Woodenville, and you've got a rent- rental property in Tacoma – you know, are you really out there that much? I started thinking about the distance and stuff and, and a concern about that. But, you know, I've had rental properties that have been 30, 40, 60 miles away from me and, and felt pretty comfortable that I wasn't going to be checking them out all the time. And I literally didn't have property management companies. So, you know, I don't really see a big difference between being in Seattle and having a rental property and being in Seattle, having one here and being in Seattle and having a rental, rental property in Memphis. I mean, if you can afford it, it's managed property properly and it's it's being rented out and you're making a cash flow. You know, it just sounds like a no-brainer, like what would be something that you'd want to check out. So um, we've got numbers for you, 425-903-5647. If you want to get a hold of Steve Big House at Team Big House, and he would be the first contact um, along with Clifton Stone to get uh, your financing set up. And he wants to make sure that he's got that set up with you before you start looking at properties with Clifton so that they know that they can help you and where you're going to be as far as uh, pricing and stuff. So, hey, Clifton, you still there? I'm here. Yeah, well, gosh, you guys got a really neat go- thing going here, and I, I know from the numbers that I see Steve doing uh, every month, there's got to be a lot of people that are excited about what you're doing and are taking advantage of the opportunity. There, there are. We we are uh, we're having a record year, and um, we have a very strong demand. Um, we our our average deal flow is somewhere between fifteen and twenty five properties per month, and that's where we can uh, that's where we can rehab and and manage comfortably. Nice. Well, and so if somebody wants to, do they have to fly to Memphis to, to see you and look at places? Or, or what's the process to start, uh, once they get pre-approved with Steve, to start looking at properties? Well, we certainly prefer for, for them to come here. Um, if you can if you can make it here and um, hop in the front seat of my car and, and see the neighborhood, see the houses, uh, there's a lot of value to um, um, seeing it firsthand. Um, but but you made a great point earlier. Um, you you don't have to you, you don't have to invest in your backyard. Um, we work with investors all over the world, and we have a, a, a customized property management software system that um, we, we've developed to uh, communicate with investors internationally. And uh, we it, it, we've basically made it so so they can be very hands on. Uh, and see everything um, live, real time. Well, and is, is that a web connection, or how would somebody get uh, in touch to find out more information it's, on how to how to look uh, at your stuff? Well, um, it's it's an online portal that the investor would have access to after they purchase a property. Okay. Yeah. So it's not just a website. It's something that you literally can network with people on properties through. Exactly. As part of your business. Wow. Well, that's cool. Well, yeah, we thought about we might have some calls um, for you on the third segment or the fourth segment coming up. So, one eight six six seven one two thirteen hundred in the the last segment, not this one, but the last one. Uh, if you're out there and you have a question for Clifton or Steve on on investing in Memphis and finding an affordable place to put your money, um, even retirement accounts, money that may not be doing a lot for you now where it's sitting, uh, there's some amazing opportunities and cash flow opportunities as well as equity building. Long-term investment, and we're, we're really talking about real, building a real estate portfolio that can, you know, be part of your net worth. Yeah. Well, Clifton, um, what about houses again? Can you tell us some more about properties? Sure. You said um, A and B. I don't know. If, do people ever want to invest in D, or, or should you stay in the A's <laughs> and B's? That we that there are D houses. Uh, we we steer clear of them. Um, we're we're not in the war zones. We're, we're staying in areas where um, we we can attract good tenants. Um, and, you know, I mean, ultimately you, you don't want to have to fight, uh, fight for the rent and, um, um, go to war with your investment property. So we, we focus on areas that we've been very successful in and, um, are, are great rental areas. Nice. So, so A's and B's, you said A's were like in the low 100s to maybe mm-hmm. 150? Right, right. A's going to range from 1 to 150. Rents are going to be from 1100 up to 2000. Um, B's. Will be eighty to a hundred, um, and rents will be nine fifty to twelve hundred. 
Okay. And then what about C? Is there a C category that's still a comfortable, secure investment that, that somebody Fair that enough. maybe even couldn't, you know, quite afford those levels that would be more comfortable in the in the C range? Yeah, we we, we stop at about fifty thousand. We're we're not looking at uh at, at the bottom of the barrel. So our, our C properties are going to be from fifty to seventy thousand, and rents will be six fifty to nine hundred. Hmm. And what type of house would that be? Can you describe it a little bit as far as what it would look like from the curb and bedrooms and bath and? Sure. M- most of our houses are are traditional construction. Uh, brick exterior is very popular in this part of the country. Uh, it's very durable, um, a low maintenance exterior. You simply have to pressure wash it. Um, so you know we're, we're we're looking for a house. Uh, covered parking is a bonus. So most of our C houses will either have a one or two car carport or garage, three bedroom, one bath, fifteen hundred square feet or less. So uh, mm. you know still a, a, a viable um, a family home. Yeah, and fifteen hundred square feet. You know that that's around here anyway. That's still a pretty good size house. Mm-hmm. Sure. And still, you've still got yards and um, good schools and that type of thing, or is that more? Is that not so much a family house as something that uh, you know an individual or a couple would be renting to work in? It, it is our 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 tenant that we're targeting is is going to be a um, preferably a dual income family with a couple of kids. Um, in, in Memphis, um, that tenant doesn't have to cram into an apartment. Uh, we we have um, good size affordable housing uh, with nice yard, so um, there's there's no sense in uh, cramming into apartment. There's plenty of housing available, so we we have a um, very high demand for for that type of property. Nice. Well, Nick Neal with Real Estate Radio Northwest on Freedom 1590 and Business Radio KKOL AM 1300, talking with Clifton Stone from Memphis Cash Flow about affordable investments in Memphis, and it really sounds like a neat deal. So not only are you pro- providing investment opportunities for people that they can afford, but it's kind of in a, in a nice situation. You're not talking about, you know, landlords, land baron uh, type real estate where, you, you know, you're really bringing people in and kicking them out. You're providing a good service um, with nice rental properties for families in Memphis to be able to afford and live in and have a nice quality of life with a local job. And then investor to to support that by owning the property, right, right. And barrier barriers of entry are low, and uh, you know ultimately everybody has to have a place to live. So um, um, the the risk is lower over a long time. If you have a vacancy in a commercial property, it could be six months or a year to oh, yeah. find a new But that's one of the best things about single family, and, and maybe even multiple ones, and, and diversifying a little bit. You know, I've got people up here buying four and five hundred, six hundred thousand dollar investment properties. You know, in Memphis, if you get four or five or six of them, you got a little bit more of a diversification. And and uh, gosh, it just sounds like a neat deal. Steve, can you tell us a little more about um, what you see as far as financing? People coming in, just your everyday investor, where their money's coming from as far as for the down payment and what their financing is getting set up like. Is it is it pretty easy to do? Does somebody have to? You know, really have a lot of money to get started with you? What, no, what <coughs> opportunities the, do you see? The processing is relatively easy. It just amounts to a pre-approval process, collecting documentation from the customer. Um, really what you look at is assets. and I mean, do they have the money for the down payment, the closing costs, and the reserves? So that's really important. Majority of people come to me. I'd say probably 95% of all my people that come to me, they have cash in the bank. You know, they've saved up the money, and that's where they want to put it. The loan process itself is really, there's nothing daunting about it. Um, I think where we're at as far as Team Big House, where we, where we really separate ourselves from our competitors, excuse me, is I have myself, I have six team members that work specifically for me, finance and real estate properties. We've, uh, you know, Memphis was kind of when I branched out from the Northwest, Memphis was the uh, first place I started and I built the model from there. Uh, currently, right now, we're into uh, 17 states, finance and real estate investors in 17 states, and we've extended our le- lending platform where we're now, in addition to financing U.S. citizens, we're also financing foreign investors that want to buy in the United States. Wow. So, And I know you talked a little bit about some people from Australia, even, that are, are looking at the, the yeah, states. Yeah, we're, we're continuing expanding that. We're in conversations with a group now out of China. Wow. Yeah, so so U.S. properties just look good compared to opportunities they m- might have in their country. What what What's the reason for people coming from China? Or? Price point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. price point. Wow, that's crazy. But the local people... 
Um, where, what areas do you see statewide? Do you have mostly people in Washington that are buying in Memphis, or does it just kind of spread all around? They're, they're all across the nation. Oh. I mean, I finance from East Coast to West Coast. Wow. So they're seeing this just as a real investment opportunity, not right. something that they feel like they have to manage. Correct. Yeah. Like, you, you know, typically you think of rental properties. You want to have them in, on your block or, or in a nearby area where if a toilet breaks, you can go out and fix it. Um, you know, if you've got to paint or do some work on the place, yeah. you're going to do that on the weekend because it's your house. You know, the tenants don't really care about it. But this really isn't like that. You're kind of separating the house as an investment for people. Yeah, and that's why, and, and that was the whole purpose of the program, was to highlight companies like Memphis Cashflow that are totally turnkey, that people, you know, it's kind of tough here in Seattle to buy an investment property. I mean, yeah. really, and see the returns. Other parts of the country, you can do it. They're a one-stop shop. They offer, offer an opportunity to an investor to be able to take an invest into real estate. And they've just, you know, they've done well with my clients in the past. I mean, I've been working with Memphis Cashflow now for like five, six years. Nice. Yeah. Well, heading into another break here, we're going to be back more. And again, if you want to call in, one 712 1300 and ask uh, Clifton or Steve any questions that you might have about uh, the opportunities with investing in Memphis. And 425-903-903. 5647 is contact for Steve. That's the best way to get started, get a hold of him, and he can get you set up on the financing side and then introduce you to Clifton. And then, Clifton, just as far as websites, what's a good place to kind of, if they want to poke around and take a look at what you're doing down there? Sure. Check out memphiscashflow.com, www.memphiscashflow.com. Yeah, or either one, just Google either one of you guys and you pop up all over the place. We come right up. Yeah. Well, just again, because you talked about it in the beginning, but. Um, about to head into a break, but just a quick scenario. So somebody buys a property from you and take us through to the process in, in 60 seconds, 50 seconds or less. Well, um, uh, basically we're, we're, we're a one-stop shop. So we, we will help, we will help investors, uh, plan their goals, choose, uh, choose the properties that fit those goals and provide a fully turnkey, uh, property that's leased and cash flowing. Man, it's so all they got to do is watch the bank and make sure that, uh, checks and deposits are going in for you guys. That's gold. Nice. Well, Real Estate Radio Northwest, Freedom 1590, Business Radio, KKL, AM 1300. We'll be right back after the break. Again, if you want to call in, 866-712-1300. Might take a couple calls this next segment. Be right back after the break. Hi, Nick Neal here, co-host of Real Estate Radio Northwest. I'm thrilled that I get to speak with you every week and bring you the truth about our local real estate market. A lot of the stuff you hear in the news is based on national numbers and really doesn't mean much to us here in Puget Sound. If you want the inside knowledge about what's going on in our real estate market, that's what I'm here for. Whether you're looking to buy a home, sell a home, or even refinance your home, we can help you make an educated decision about what's going to be best for you and your family. It's easy. We give you the real facts. You decide where to go from there. We're here to help. Thank you for listening, and we'll be back from the break soon. Call Nick Neal today, and you'll be glad you did. 888-638-1117. That's 888-638-1117. You're listening to Real Estate Radio Northwest with local expert Nick Neal. Now, here's Nick. Welcome back to Real Estate Radio Northwest on Business Radio, KKLM 1300 and Freedom 1590. Got some rock and music going today. That's cool. And a rock and topic. It's just been awesome talking to Clifton and Steve Big House. Clifton Stone from Memphis Properties, Memphis Cash Flow, and Steve Big House from Security National Mortgage, and Team Big House handling the financing side of an amazing investment opportunity. We just had a commercial plane talking about Schenectady. I have no idea where Schenectady is. Never been there. I have no idea what Memphis looks like other than what I see in the movies, and Elvis was there, really cool, cool musicians. Um, I know Steve gets down there quite a bit and talks about good restaurants, too. Um, but it really doesn't matter. I mean, it's a good city and it's a good quality of life for people living there. So that's what counts with what's kind of developed this situation for investing in Memphis with uh, Clifton Stone and Memphis Cashflow. And, and gosh, if you're interested in investment properties and you missed 20 years ago in Seattle to where you could buy a rental house for fifty, sixty, seventy, hundred thousand dollars, you know, you just didn't do it, or maybe you're younger, you weren't even alive at that time. Um, those opportunities are in Memphis, it sounds like. And, and the same type of numbers that we had access to 20 years ago in Seattle are happening today in Memphis. And again, whether it's Memphis or Schenectady, doesn't really matter because the house is there. The ability to have it managed for you once you buy it is there. 
Um, having a property that's been purchased by somebody who knows first how to find the right property, second how to rehab it in a cost-effective way that's you know going to take all of the nightmare of doing that yourself out, and then the money they save doing that, the price you're going to pay for the house at the end is I'm sure going to be less than what it would have been if you would have bought that rehab house if you could have found it, done the work, and ended up with something that you could rent. So these guys are kind of taking it from point A to point C or D. I guess B. We don't want to go down into the C's and D's too much, but um, they're just handling everything for you. Clifton, it's been really exciting to talk about you or talk with you about the opportunities in Memphis. Can you tell us a little bit more about uh, some of the properties? Yeah, um, let's let's go into a, a live example of one that that is available on the market, uh, and and talk a little bit about the. Uh, what kind of positive cash flow and what kind of returns you can expect from a property like this. Um, if you're looking on the website right now, the address is 3394 Brown Bark, and this is this is our bread and butter type property. 60% of what we do um, is just like this house. It's a classic B, three bedroom, two bath, built in 1978, uh, 1,300 square feet. Rent range is going to be 950 to 1050. So we've, we've pulled the carpet out, pulled the vinyl out. We're running ceramic tile through all the main areas um, I'm, and um, um, up, updating central heat and air, getting it tight for the long run. Um, a property like this, uh, if, if it rents in the middle of the rent range, let's do a conservative scenario here. Uh, if an investor puts 20% down, they're looking at about $370 in positive cash flow per month. Um, that's just over a 20% return on their investment. Wow. Yeah, and we talk about cash on cash return. It, it's what you're talking about too, right? Right. With the money that they're putting out. So they're they're gaining in this asset, and this is the coolest part. I mean, it's like getting a, an IRA on steroids. I mean, the percentage that you're putting down on the property is 20%, but you're getting the entire asset, and the 80% that's financed is being covered, you know, not only to cash flow your 20 down, but to cover that mortgage. So you're getting this eighty hundred thousand dollar asset, you know, basically for the twenty percent down and it's taking care of itself. Yeah, the the leverage really juices those returns. Um, yeah. in, in an all cash scenario, you're looking at just over seven hundred dollars positive cash flow after taxes, insurance, management fees, and uh, just over a ten percent return on your investment. So for the self directed IRA investors it's still a, a strong return scenario and a lot better than what you can find out in the market. Yeah, and still secure, and you can, you know, you got to talk to your tax advisor. You guys can probably help a little bit with what you see happening, but you can still get these set up in your retirement portfolios with IRAs and 401ks, adding real estate. People are doing that now. Absolutely. Yeah, boy, that's cool. And so what about, do you have any, I don't want to put you on the spot, but do you have anything that's available right now? If somebody wanted to buy something in Memphis right now, do you have a property that they could they could look at? Yep, the scenario we just went through on Brown Bark is available. Oh, wow, crazy. So you guys own that, and you're rehabbing it, but you haven't sold it yet. That's correct. We're, wow. um, I was out there yesterday, and we're on the tail end of the rehab, so uh, we should um, match it to an investor soon and, and get it live for a lease uh, beginning of next week. Boy, that's cool. So really, again, the best way, instead of, you know, like when people for, are searching for a house, they're looking online, and they're talking to realtors, and they're trying to find properties, but... Really, you want to look at this as an investment opportunity that you need to take step by step. It sounds like where they're going to want to get in touch with Steve initially at uh, 425-903-5647 is the best number to get him at his office. And then, Steve, you're going to walk them through the financing scenarios and get them set up. And I know this is critical. I mean, I do it on my side with purchases, and I'm mostly dealing with um, primary residence, few investments. You're mostly investments, but you get pre- people pre-approved with all of their documentation before you even start looking at the loan, oh, right? Correct. Absolutely. Yeah, so you get them secure. You, you can make them feel comfortable that they're going to be able to afford the situation that they're getting into. But that's the first step, talking to Steve, getting the financing in place, and then maybe even poking around a little bit with Memphis Properties, Memphis Cash Flow, but um, wanting to get the financing in place and then looking at the properties and working with Clifton. And so... Clifton, then once you have somebody that's looking at investing, is that typically how it works? They're, they're going to get in touch with you, and then you're going to kind of watch for something that will fit their needs? Or are they exactly. shopping and say, I want that one? What's the process like once they get pre-approved? And each, each investor is different. So, you know, it's, it's very important to um, map out your, your end goal. Where, where do you want to take this? So it's important to do that from the front end, and uh, that's one thing Steve is fantastic at is, is, is working with investors and and um, um, developing a long-term plan for using leverage. 
um, and we, we 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 do the same thing here, um, and and just work work with investors to to help them um, um, outline a clear path to to get to where they want to go with real estate investing. Boy, that's awesome! And you know, I hadn't even gotten that far ahead. I, I do that with clients and. In my own head, when I'm thinking about investments, what's your end game? You know, where do you want this to end up? Um, but that's critical. That's something to really be looking at at the beginning, and that's neat that you guys look at it that way. And, and I just had this vision in my head. You know, you got 10 properties in, in Memphis. You're probably going to be knocking down those mortgages because, I mean, fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000, that's not a real big dollar amount. I'd be putting that extra money towards the mortgages. I'd like paying things off early because I don't like paying interest to the bank. And the bank likes it when you hold on to it for 30 years and pay them an extra $100,000 on a $100,000 loan. But if you knock those things out, you know, in five, six, seven, ten years, you're looking at a free and clear real estate portfolio that's cash flowing for you, um, probably providing a lot more than Social Security, um, a lot more than other opportunities with dollar per dollar investments on 401ks and IRAs. Um, do you have some people that are getting to that point where they've got mortgages paid off and their, you know, their net worths are just growing? Well, you know, everybody has a different strategy on on how they want to handle their their leverage and their positive cash flow. I'm um, I, I have most of my properties on ten and fifteen year loans. I'm you know I'm I'm young. I'm hoping to pay them off um, um, quickly, and and that is my retirement plan, or one of the main pieces of it. Nice. Uh, so, you know, and, and others uh, will will use leverage to the max. Um, um, and increase their positive cash flow as much as possible. Um, you can u- using leverage can be very powerful. Um, if, if you if you carry it past the ten properties, you know to twenty, thirty, then you you're looking at some substantial positive cash flow numbers. And all the while, the tenant is paying off your debt at the same time. Well, that's awesome. I sure like the the sound of that better than watching the stock market, you know, day in and day out and up and down. Well, we're getting into the end of the show here. Clifton, it's been great to have you. Clifton Stone from Memphis Cashflow Properties and Steve Big House. Always good to have you here, Steve. Thank you. You bet. Yeah, 425-903-5647. If you want to talk to Steve and get started with this process, buying properties in Memphis, building a retirement account based on real estate. Give him a call. Real Estate Radio Northwest will be back again next Saturday. Thanks for joining us. Have a great rest of the weekend.